Hello dear viewers and welcome to Pharmacy D. In today's video we are going to discuss a medical diagnostic test. In our previous videos like we have discussed about the complete blood count or CBC which helps us in diagnosis of different diseases or to help check the normal functioning of our body. So in today's video we are going to talk about liver function test. It is also a type of medical diagnostic test and it helps to understand the normal functioning of liver. Before we start our discussion on liver function test, let's have a review on liver and its function in the body. Liver is the largest organ in the body. It is located below the diaphragm in the right upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity. The working cells of the liver are known as hepatocytes. Major metabolic functions of the liver. Number one, it is involved in the synthesis of plasma proteins like albumin and globulins cholesterol, triglycerides, and lipoproteins. Number two, it is involved in detoxification and excretion of ammonia to urea, the urea cycle, bilirubin, and cholesterol. It helps in drug metabolism. It stores vitamins A, D, E, K, and B12. It is involved in the production of bile salts, which help in digestion. Metabolism of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates take place inside liver and it also helps in enzyme activation. Liver function test. Liver function tests are also known as liver chemistries. They help to determine the health of your liver by measuring the levels of proteins, liver enzymes, and bilirubin in your blood. Liver function test is often recommended in the following situations. Number one, to check for damage from liver infections such as hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Number two, to monitor the side effects of certain medications known to affect the liver because majority of the drugs are metabolized in the liver. Number three, to monitor the disease and how well a treatment is working. Number four, if patient is experiencing the symptoms of a liver disorder. Number five, if patient has certain medical conditions such as high triglycerides, diabetes, high blood pressure or anemia. Number six, if patient is alcoholic, Number seven, if patient has gallbladder disease. Liver function tests are classified into three categories. Number one is liver protein test. Number two, liver enzyme test. And number three is bilirubin test. In liver protein test, we determine the albumin levels, globulin levels, albumin to globulin ratio, and last prothrombin time. In liver enzyme test, we can measure the values of alkaline phosphatase, alanine aminotransferase, aspartate aminotransferase, G-glutamyl transferase, and lastly bilirubin test. We can determine serum bilirubin and urobilinogen. Liver function tests are performed on your blood samples and then the results are compared with normal values of liver function test. The normal blood test results for typical liver function tests include number one for liver enzymes for alanine aminotransferase or ALT is 7 to 55 units per liter number two aspartate aminotransferase or AST is 8 to 48 units per liter number three alkaline phosphatase or ALP is 40 to 129 units per liter and lastly G glutamyl transferase or GGT is 8 to 61 units per liter. For liver proteins number one albumin the normal values are 3.5 to 5 grams per deciliter and total protein should be 6.3 to 7.9 gram per deciliter. Prothrombin time should be 9.4 to 12.5 seconds and bilirubin should be 0.1 to 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. Now we will discuss that what liver function tests interpret. Liver function tests check the levels of certain enzymes and proteins in your blood. Levels that are higher or lower than normal can indicate liver problems. For alanine transaminase or ALT, ALT is an enzyme found in the liver that helps convert proteins into energy for the liver cells. When the liver is damaged, ALT is released into the bloodstream and levels increase. Alkaline phosphatase ALP, 
ALB is an enzyme found in the liver and bone and is important for breaking down proteins. Higher than normal levels of ALP may indicate liver damage or disease such as a blocked bile duct or certain bone diseases. Aspartate transaminase or AST. AST is an enzyme that helps metabolize amino acids and increase in AST levels may indicate liver damage, disease or muscle damage. Gamma glutamyl transferase or GGT. GGT is an enzyme found in the blood. Higher than normal levels may indicate liver or bile duct damage. Albumin and total protein. Albumin is one of several proteins made in the liver. Your body needs these proteins to fight infections and to perform other functions. Lower than normal levels of albumin and total protein may indicate liver damage or disease. Bilirubin. Bilirubin is a substance produced during the normal breakdown of red blood cells. Bilirubin passes through the liver and is excreted in stool. Elevated levels of bilirubin jointus might indicate liver damage or disease or certain types of anemia. Prothrombin time. PT. PT is the time it takes your blood to clot. Increased prothrombin time may indicate liver damage but can also be elevated if you are taking certain blood thinning drugs such as warfarin. These results are typical for adult male. Normal results vary from laboratory to laboratory, might be slightly different for women and children. Your doctor will use these results to help diagnose your condition or determine what treatment you might need. If you already have liver disease, Liver function test can help determine how your disease is progressing and if you are responding to the treatment. That's all about liver function test. I hope you like this video. Please share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacy D. And if you have any questions, don't forget to write them down in the comment section below. Thank you.